In this video, we're going to be talking about flow trails. And before we can talk about it, we need to know what it is. So the definition of flow is move along or out steadily and continuously in a current or stream. So if you translate that to mountain biking, it's basically a trail where you're moving steadily yeah, yeah, and yeah. continuously. Go, go, go. You don't have to hit the brakes very much and you're going very fast. Also known as the most fun trails in the whole world because that's what mountain biking is. It's going fast and having fun. But now that I've told you about flow trails, you're probably thinking, isn't every mountain bike a flow trail? Well, no. There's also trails called technical trails, where you're going to have to go a lot slower and you're going to be careful with your bar ends because you might hit a tree. So basically the appeal of these trails is that they're a lot more difficult and they're really fun because once you do it, it feels really good. But with that being said, I started to think about my own trail at home and how many routes there are all over it. And because of the routes, I can't go very fast at all or else it's going to be one of the bumpiest rides around. So I decided I'm going to completely revamp my trail. I'm going to take out a good percentage of the route so I can really whip and I'm going to make some of the corners less tight. I'm going to make my trail from a tech trail into a flow trail and see which iteration of my trail I like more. Another thing I decided to do was turn my drop into a drop again. And for a reference of time, the last time it was a drop was in this video. Hey guys, it's Bike Soft here. So yeah, it's been a while, but I'm happy it's back. It's not that tall, so I can just whip down it. It's really fast, fun, and well, flowy. And as I had previously mentioned, I turned all my really sharp corners a little wider so that you can take them faster, you don't have to slow down. And this one was about the worst one. As you can see here, this is how it used to be. I have to go around the entire tree very slow. And then here how it is now, I can just whip right beside it and it sets me up for this nice drop. There was also this trail that I decided to cut down a little bit and make it a little wider. This one you had to go in between three trees and it was kind of tight and you couldn't go very fast but now you can see I can whip by it so it definitely improves the trail. Something else that happened that affected my trail was rain and a lot of rain. As you can see here the rock bridge is already submerged so we had to put a pallet on top of it that works fairly well. I can go pretty fast on it so that's nice but also on the skinny bridge over the swamp it was really high level of water, so we had to put extensions of the bridge on either side. But it's actually kind of fun, it feels like one really long skinny. But now for what you've all been waiting for. Is my trail better as a flow trail or as a tech trail? And to be honest, the flow trail is probably 10 times better. It's way more fun, it, I, I feel way more encouraged to go out and ride my trail every day because I know how much fun it's going to be and I know that I can go as fast as I can. So here's my warning to new trail builders. Just as I was, when you first start you see all these trees and you think oh it'll be cool to go in between them and around them, where really you should ignore the trees and try to make it as round as you can. Later you can just add it so it's not that big of a deal, but why not start it off right. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you like tech more or flow more. I definitely like flow more, but uh, if you did like this video, make sure to consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. All you have to do is click right there and you can subscribe, or you can watch a video there in top left, right? But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.